People have high hopes for Tesla's pickup truck called the Cybertruck, but there's also one of the company's most delayed products today and have Tesla fans so eager to know when it will be released, and that is the Tesla Semi. In this video, we will be talking about all the latest news we have about Tesla Semis, what companies pre-ordered the truck, and what year the expected release will be. Welcome to TechLux YouTube channel. If you are interested in the latest and exciting developments in the EV market, then you are at the right place. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Alright, let's get into the video. Musk revealed the Giga Texas would begin producing over 50,000 Tesla semis in 2023. So it is possible that Tesla may actually construct a lot of Tesla semis in the future. According to economists, Tesla is able to produce as many as 50,000 semi-electric trucks annually as anticipated. This will earn the business roughly $10 billion in revenue. Tesla received orders for the semi-truck in American manufacturers and businesses not long after it was introduced. Accordingly, the 100 semi-truck orders from Pepsi will result in $18 million for the electric vehicle manufacturer, while Walmart's 130 orders will come in $23.4 million for Tesla, and 150 orders from Pride Group Enterprises will bring in another $27 million. Last but not least, 125 purchases from UPS or USPS will net Tesla an extra $22.5 million. How will Tesla achieve its target of producing such a vast number of semis then? According to certain sources, Tesla is still concentrating on increasing production in order to build the facilities necessary for mass manufacturing of electric vehicles like the semi and the cyber truck. The scale of Giga Texas will already be enormous by next year, but it is obvious that Tesla is considering a far larger expansion close to Austin. Later last year, Musk stated that the business intended to invest more than $10 billion in the factory, resulting in the creation of 20,000 direct employment and 100,000 indirect jobs. Such a size would benefit Texas' economy both literally and figuratively for years to come. A site designed for production support area on 68 acres of land close to Giga Texas has recently been submitted by the business. A source said that the area would be used for construction projects as well as the production of new models such as the Cybertrucks and semi-auto parking and others. Tesla has invested tens of millions of dollars to outfit Giga Texas with cutting-edge machinery and equipment in order to get ready for the mass production in the electric trucks semi. The Giga Press is one of the most crucial devices used in the fabrication of the Tesla Semi. The value of the Giga Press, a die casting machine this size, is approximately $10 million. Elon Musk has only officially announced that the Cybertruck body will be produced by the 9,000 ton Giga Press casting machine from Italy's Idra Enterprise. However, some sources claim that when it is finished, it will most likely happen soon. To support the mass manufacturing of the Semi and the Cybertruck, the Gigafactory Texas will purchase an additional 5 Gigapresses. Tesla will consequently spend roughly $50 million to purchase 5 additional extremely large casting machines. Nevertheless, Gigapress will greatly speed up Tesla's manufacture of electric vehicles. Additionally, Tesla set up charging infrastructure for its semi-trucks. Tesla superchargers have been sited in Indio, California, close up to PepsiCo complex. The trailers carrying the superchargers helped create a battery pack and an astounding number of charging stations. Photos of the chargers were given by a person who claimed they belonged to Pepsi products. Tesla had already placed mega chargers for the semi at the Frito Lee and PepsiCo facilities in Modesto, California, which is about 440 miles from Indio. Tesla superchargers appear to be the best approach to ramp up charger installations for either its fleet or expanding customer automobiles or the Tesla semi trucks used by Pepsi. Tesla is putting a lot of effort into expanding its charging infrastructure. According to Senior Vice President of Powertrain and Energy Engineering Drew Buglino, although batches of vehicles were meant to be distributed to businesses so they could test them as part of a bigger fleet, the manufacturer is continuing testing the Semi until the formal launch. Most recently, a new report of a Tesla Semi sighting was published online, but this time, more than one truck was sighted on the road. Two identical Tesla Semi trucks were potted and both of them were dressed in the brand's modernized Class 8 all-electric truck designs. Accordingly, an EV enthusiast was traveling on Interstate 80 in northeastern California close to Donner Lake. He was fortunate to spot two Tesla semis traveling west. Some sources speculate that they may have been in, in route to Pepsi and Modico. This shouldn't be shocking considering that PepsiCo just placed a sizable order for a fleet of Tesla semis. A Tesla semi was also seen on the time driving alongside a Tesla Cybertruck at the Michigan International Speedway during a SAE International competitive event. Additionally, 
In July, Tesla shared an intriguing video of a Tesla Semi delivering a pre-assembled superchargers at the Laguna Seco racetrack in California. Going back to the updates of the Tesla Semis, a tractor body designed with four or six axles and four driving wheels have four electric motors at the rear to haul enormous freight with a weight of 80,000 pounds. Tesla has not disclosed the power of the torque figures of the Semi, but there is confirmation of a quad motor system on the rear axles. For new automatic tire inflation system, or ATIS, which has the capability to automatically adjust tire pressure and keep it at the ideal level in real time for the upcoming trip, Tesla claims that acceleration time from 0 to 60 is only 20 seconds on a diesel truck. It would take much longer than that. The technology inventor was identified as John Furtado. Furtado spent a considerable amount of time working on the Tesla Semi, with his primary attentions being on the brakes, brake controls, pneumatics, wheel ends, and tires. The enormous glass section of the Tesla Semi is also not your typical kit. It is what Tesla refers to as standard thermonuclear explosion resistant glass. Experts claim that because truck windows are so large, preventing drivers from using the vehicles for obvious safety and visibility reasons. This results in expensive mirror replacement and maintenance costs. And that's it for this video. What do you think? Will we be seeing the Tesla Semi soon? Let us know in the comment section down below. We hope you enjoyed today's content. Please do subscribe if you aren't already and hit that like button in order to see more awesome videos from us in the future.